Hey everybody, before the show starts, log on to musicmoneymakeover.com slash shop to download all my books and free guides. And while you're there, make sure you click on the book a call tab to book a call with me to get all your questions answered and your problems solved. Enjoy the show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover show. My name is Casey Graham. And on this episode, we're talking about how much does an artist really make when they go platinum, all right? When they get that platinum plaque, when they get that recognition, when they get that certification from the Recording Industry Association of America, the RIAA. But before we do that, we got to jump into our Copyright Explain 60 second session at the beginning of the video. So let's hop to a slide. Here we go. So copyright is the sole right which an author has in his own original literary compositions. The exclusive right of an author to print, publish, and then his own literary works for his own benefit. Now, there are two rights of copy, and the music industry operates and revolves around two copyrights. All right, and that's the sound recording copyright, which is the master, and the performing arts copyright, which is the publishing. All right, now the sound recordings, as in records, uh, or the audio recording file, wave MP3 AIFF of the composition and or song, equals the masters. Now, if you need a DistroKid discount link to distribute your master recordings, hit the link below, and then, of course, Sound Exchange collects money for that. Then you have the performing arts copyright, as in the composition, sheet, music, MIDI files, publishing, or song to be performed. It's referred to as publishing, and you can collect different types of publishing money from the mechanical collect, uh, licensing collective, BMI, ASCAP, CSAC, Music Reports, Music Match, Lyric Find, and the Harry Fox Agency. All right, there are many more that go around um, this world, but that's for America. All right, now there's six rights of copy to be exercised to the fullest extent of the U.S. Constitution under Title 17. And that is the right to reproduce, the right to prepare derivative works, the right to distribute, all right, and the right to public performance, the right to public display, and the right to digital performance. All right, so we are back at it, okay? How much does a platinum plaque cost? Well, I figured I'd pull mine off the wall. I don't have them in here, but here's one of mine right here. Um, this is my first platinum plaque, and even though I have more that I need to actually... Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the camera. Even though I have more that I need to buy, this is uh, this is the first one. And shout out to Chris Henderson, the producer of Blame It. Uh, as you all know, Blame It on Alcohol. This is the record I worked on on, on this album right here. Now, uh, I want to say that this right here, this thing right here, costs 250 bucks. Okay, this is the cheapest platinum plaque that you can get. It's very basic, as you see. And uh, $250, this is not even a real record, even though that's a real CD, um, this is just a piece of cardboard with a sticker on it, okay? And this is just the RIAA sticker, and I have a serial number to say that this is an official plaque, okay? So 250 bucks, all right, to commemorate 1 million copies of this Jamie Foxx Intuition album, all right? With my name on it, for those of you all who want to see, yes, it does have my name on there, right there. Now, set this to the side. Bam, for those of you all who are questioning my uh, industry experience, there you have it. Now, I wanna jump to a quick slide because we gotta talk, even though that's, that costs 250 bucks for a piece of paper, matter of fact, look at the back of it. It's like, it's, it's, it's you know what I'm saying? Anyway, it's still nicely, it's nice, it's nicely made, but that's what it is, all right? Um, let's jump into how much the artists would really make when they go platinum. Now, I'm going to preface this with the deal points because artists have many deals, but this will be a pretty much a standard deal. Okay, so let's jump into the slide. So, how much does an artist make on 1 million records sold? If our deal is based on 66.64% when it comes to the revenue share from the label, because distributor holds, the distributor holds the other 33%, which is them anyway, i.e. Sony Records and Sony Distribution. And let's say, let's say the artist royalty is 20% before any producer royalty, video, mechanical royalties um, are uh, taken away from or are, are pulled out of that royalty. Then what we have to look at is a million units sold at $9.99 currently from iTunes equals $1 million three hundred thirty thousand dollars okay so in that particular deal with those deal points 20 percent right that was gross okay i just want to get the 20 percent is gross just want to clarify 
grossing $1.3 million, $1,330,000. All right, well, that's cool, right? But all the other money, right? All the, like, from all of my other videos, when I do my artist royalty explain, I'll pop that there, or my, um, my other video, um, um, the artist advance explained, and all these things when it comes to the artist, you can see that out of that 20%, and my last uh, video that I put up recently, explaining the deal points on a 15% deal, 10% deal, 12% deal with an artist, you can see that even though this number is gross, that is not exactly what they make on the net, okay? I don't wanna confuse you all, but that's a gross number, that's what I'm saying. So, let me get this straight. If the platinum plaque is worth $250, or costs $250 to make, and before any expenses are taken out from all of the music promotion and the music videos and all the sales and all that stuff, you know, on gross receipts, I'm, the artist is supposed to make $1.3 million. Well, why, why don't we just go make the $1.3 million? That sound, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. That makes more sense to me than maybe getting into a record deal to sell a million albums when all you really wanted was $1.3 million. You know, if that's the case, you could really just sell anything to get $1.3 million. So what's the point? Let's throw a slide up. Well, now, before we get into the point, we got to talk about how much does an artist make on one million records sold when it comes to streams. And to, in order to get that amount, right, if we're coming out gross on a gross stream rate, which is really what you see in your DistroKid, TuneCore, CD Baby, all those accounts, three, it would take you 3.5 billion streams to get $1.3 million, right? But then if we go into the next option, Check this out. What if we sold 38,000 hoodies at $35? You see, you see where I'm going with this? I don't need to make any more slides to express the whole point of this. To get this thing and to get a million records sold is one thing. To come out broke is not cool. All right, but this is pretty, this is nice, some nice wall ornament candy to hang out, hang up in your house and tell people, hey, look. You know, I was working on a project that sold a million records, right? Now, that's great. It's cool, right? But that's really what you're profiting on a million. Now, that's not to say that people aren't still streaming and they're not still selling albums. You know, you get those residual income funds from that. I'm not bashing that model. But all I'm saying is if all you wanted was $1.3 million, then as an independent artist, you could actually go sell something else and your music and make that money in the aggregate. Aggregate meaning everything collectively, okay? So I just want you all to think about that amount because that $1.3 million is a typical artist percentage, right? Gross. And like I said, the whole point of this platinum plaque is just an ego booster. That's all it is, just to say I worked on this. But, like I said, we only check it, you know, if we were doing a 50-50 deal, you get it? Like if it was 50-50 gross at a million at a million um albums sold, it'd be five million dollars, you know? Okay, and of course that's minus distributor fees. But, you know, you gotta think about what you're looking for. Don't get so caught up on the shiny stuff right here, because while you made 1.3 million dollars, the record company gross made 10. Okay, now this ain't bashing record companies because I understand everybody's playing field. I get it. I'm not bashing record companies. I'm not bashing publishers. I'm not bashing artists who make bad deals or good deals. I'm just letting you know as the artist, you're only really chasing in a standard record contract you're only making about $1.3 million. All right, anyway, that's been today's video. I will see you all later. Peace. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching the show. Make sure you log on to musicmoneymakeover.com forward slash shop to download all my books and free guides. And while you're there, click on the book a call tab to book a call with me to get all your questions answered and problems solved. I'll see you all soon.